Caitlin Clark did the impossible once again, breaking not one, but two on the records in a single night as the Indiana Fever dominated the Los Angeles Sparks. The media was left scrambling, especially ESPN, which quickly had to change its tune after months of skepticism, offering praise in what can only be described as public humiliation. Clark's breathtaking performance sent shockwaves through the Anba, and the numbers speak for themselves. She didn't just win the game, she etched her name deeper into history. So coming out of college, expectations, they were sky high for Caitlin Clark and the Fever, but to start the season, they had a little bit of a rough go of it. They lost their first five games. They ended up one and eight through their first nine games. And during that first month, the playoffs, they didn't feel realistic at all. Clark, she struggled with turnovers and the discourse, it was really centered around this just being an adjustment period. But then Indy entered the Olympic break, 11 and 15 on the year, and then they really turned it around. They've won seven of their eight since. They clinched a playoff berth for the first time since 2016, which by the way, was the last year of Hall of Famer and franchise icon Tamika Catching's career. So Caitlin, she continues to make history. She's the first rookie to win WNBA Player of the Month since the awards inception in 2010, and last night, it was no exception. So the Fever, they were hosting the Sparks in this one. Of course, Tyrese Halliburton, Shanae, pulling up to take in the action He's been here. consistent. Yeah, he's been showing up. <laughs> Third quarter is we're going to pick this one up. Tied at 55. Clark hits Come the on. crossover. What? When you're able to just drag dribble like that back, you got to, that's just hard. It's hard. You got to send more help. By the way, her 100th three-pointer through the season, 34 games, passing Ryan Howard for the fewest career games to reach 100 points. And then just a couple seconds In transition, later. she is so fast, deceptively fast. That's why they are able to score these big numbers because they do their damage in transition. Right here, Clark, quick five points for Clark. Fever lead 66. Ooh, 64. tough one. A little push off to three. And then Fever pushing their lead again. So let's go ahead, Sinead, here to the fourth quarter, early fourth, the Fever up. Clark. Dribbles behind the back, drains the three. It's like pick finish. your po poison, right. but you can't because all of the players are playing well. She finished with four three-pointers. Oh! Clark, what? <laughs> like, like a little dime behind the back to Aaliyah Boston for the bucket and the foul. I mean, just making phenomenal passes and then Boston with the finish there. She's fired I up after that I love the energy. One. And then under 30 seconds left to play here. She's one rebound shy of a triple-double and she knows it. This she is knows, actually really, just it's won. really funny if you watch Kelsey Mitchell because she's like looking around like, wait, what's happening? Yeah, I don't know if she knew sure. the memo. <laughs> making sure. Clark gets high fives from her teammates after she secures her second triple-double of the season. Take a listen to Clark's reaction post-game. Did you know you were one rebound away from your second triple-double? Of course I knew. But somebody had to get the rebound, so A.B. was joking. We always joke about stealing each other's rebounds, so it's funny. But well, of course she knew. She was <laughs> hunting that rebound down. 24 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. The Fever win their fifth in a row for the first time since 2015. So Caitlin Clark finished she's, with that you know, triple-double. She's finding those Continues open players. She had some amazing stars. assists yesterday. tonight. She's the only rookie in WNBA history with the triple double and now has two in her debut campaign 2024 is the 25th season for the fever in the W and Clark is the only player in franchise history to ever get a triple double and you know we had to bring now, it rookie of the month has only been around since 2010 she's the first tournament. player look the hottest team in the WNBA right now is the Indiana fever Kelsey Mitchell has been balling ever Lexi Hall has been an rookie factor, of the month and, that and was a great player of the month getting this line well, with chemistry but make no mistake, Caitlin Clark is doing things beyond the Hell years. Out of the Let ball. me show you how to do this here so far. Points in a season in WNBA history. As for this win streak, though, Caitlin has created 224 points between points scored herself and points assisted. That's almost 45 points per game and the most by any player ever. Ball. This is an Iverson cut over two screeners. Then there's a pin down. Then there's a chase. Then there's a double contest. All to get the shot. That is not easy work, but she makes it look like slight work. Now let's go to on ball when she has a ball in her hands. She's initiating the offense. Just able to use her skills. You know, get to see the fever play one time. It's been a lot of money to come here. Quick screen, but then two go with her. Dantas is able to slip to the mid range to knock down a nice money. So she's able to not only score herself, but she's distributing the ball. Last but not least.
I mean, y'all, it's it's what I've said in transition. Once she gets the ball, you have to really sprint Aaron, back honestly, it's because a lot of fun. plays like this. She's going to drop two. Pulls it down, I mean, and this building knows what that means. Type of situations that rookies don't normally do. She just had her second triple double, but don't sleep on her double doubles. She has had seven games with 20 points and 10 dimes. That's the third most in league history. The Fever are not a matchup that anybody wants to play right now, Malik. The night began with the Fever knowing they had already clinched a playoff spot, but there was no sign of them easing up. Clark, along with her teammates, played with the intensity of a team with something to prove. From the opening tip, it was clear that Caitlin wasn't just there to win, she was there to dominate. And dominate she did. Um, in one of the most historic performances in Unba history, Caitlin Clark achieved her second career triple-double in a single season, a feat that cemented her as one of the greatest rookies the league has ever seen. To put this in perspective, most players dream of getting even one triple-double in their careers, let alone multiple in their rookie season. Clark, however, has redefined what's possible. She played all 40 minutes of the game in endurance feat in itself, showing no sign of fatigue. Her conditioning is elite, and she's proven time and time again that she can handle the physical demands of the professional game. In those 40 minutes, she scored 24 points, grabbed 10 rebounds, and dished out 10 assists. These aren't just numbers, they're evidence of a player who can do it all. Scoring, rebounding, playmaking Clark was everywhere on the court, influencing every aspect of the game. What's particularly striking about her performance is how efficiently she put up those numbers. Shooting 8 of 17 from the field, she wasn't just throwing up shots, she was methodical and calculated. Every possession mattered, and Clark made sure to make the most of each one. Aliyah Boston may have shared the game high of 24 points, but it was Caitlin who controlled every aspect of the match. Whether it was setting up her teammates with precision passes or crashing the boards for key rebounds, Clark was the engine driving the fever forward. It was a reminder to everyone watching that she is not just a scorer, She's a complete player who can impact the game in multiple ways. But this was only the beginning of the records Caitlin shattered that night. As dominant as her triple-double was, there was more history to be made. In addition to her triple-double, Clark set another monumental milestone, becoming the fastest player to hit 103 pointers in Unba history, as reported by Stat Mamba. To break it down, this is a record that speaks not only to her shooting prowess, but to her consistency over the course of the season. Achieving this feat in such a short amount of time is unheard of in the league. It's a testament to the countless hours of work she's put into perfecting her shot, as well as her ability to perform under pressure. Shooting four three-pointers during the game may seem routine for Caitlin, but in doing so, she shattered the previous record and left her critics with no choice but to acknowledge her greatness. The speed at which she reached this milestone has left even her fiercest critics dumbfounded. ESPN, in particular, had been skeptical of her ability to adapt to the professional game questioning whether her college dominance would translate to the Onba. Well, Caitlin Clark answered that question decisively. No one in Onba history has reached these heights as quickly as she has. Her shooting stroke is a thing of beauty smooth, effortless, and deadly accurate. Time and time again, she finds ways to create space, whether it's off the dribble or coming off screens, and when she gets her shot off, it's almost always going in. Clark's sharpshooting is a testament to her unique talent. Players like her don't come around often. She's not just a great shooter, she's a generational talent, someone who will be remembered long after her playing days are over. And as if that weren't enough, Clark added one more layer of brilliance to her record-breaking night. Caitlin Clark made history yet again by becoming the only Onba player to achieve 200 assists while also knocking down 103 pointers in a single season. Think about that for a moment. Not only is she a scoring machine, but she's also one of the best playmakers in the league. This blend of shooting and passing skill has never been seen before, certainly not by ESPN, who had consistently downplayed her abilities, until they could no longer deny the truth. It's rare to find a player who excels in both areas, but Clark does it with ease. The fact that she stands alone in this category puts Clark in a league of her own. She's not just an offensive weapon, she's the kind of player who makes everyone around her better. Her vision on the court is exceptional. She sees plays develop before they happen and has the basketball IQ to make the right pass at the right time. Whether she's threading the needle with a bounce pass or lobbing it up for an alley-oop, her teammates know that when they're on the floor with Clark, they're going to get opportunities to score. This record isn't just a testament to her individual brilliance, it's a reflection of her ability to elevate her entire team. The Fever, a team that has struggled in recent years, is now a playoff contender for the first time since 2016, and that's largely because of Clark's impact. She's changed the culture of the team. They believe they can win because they have a leader who refuses to lose. But as much as these milestones are about Clark's individual brilliance, they also reflect something much larger a player who, in her rookie season, has already changed the trajectory of a franchise. Though Caitlin Clark is known for her offensive mastery, it was her defense that sealed the win for Indiana. With just 25 seconds left, Clark made a critical steal from Sparks Kia Nurse, securing the Fever's victory. This was the moment that ESPN, once so quick to criticize, had to face reality. 
Clark's ability to make game-changing plays on both ends of the floor proved that she's far more than just a scorer or a passer. She's a complete player, capable of delivering on both ends when it matters most. The defensive play was nothing short of brilliant. Nurse, a seasoned veteran, didn't see it coming. Clark read the play perfectly, anticipated the pass, and made the steal that effectively ended the game. It was a reminder that while her offensive numbers may grab the headlines, her defensive instincts are just as sharp. The victory wasn't just a win for Caitlin, and the fever it was a turning point for her career. ESPN, which had long doubted her abilities, was now forced to acknowledge the complete player that she is. They had no choice but to backtrack on their earlier criticisms and offer praise, though that praise came in a tone that suggested they were swallowing their words. It wasn't long ago that ESPN's coverage of Caitlin Clark was filled with skepticism. They questioned whether she could handle the physicality of Limba, whether her shooting would be as effective at this level, and whether she had the ability to lead a team to victory. But as the Fever clinched their playoff spot, ESPN had no choice but to flip the script. They begrudgingly offered her the praise she had earned, but anyone watching could see that it wasn't genuine admiration, it was an acknowledgement that they had been wrong. The narrative changed from doubt to admiration, but the shift was clear to everyone watching ESPN had no choice but to acknowledge what they had been trying to avoid. Caitlin Clark is a generational talent, and their backtracking was painfully obvious. The media can no longer ignore what the fans and her peers have known all along Clark is here to stay, and she's going to be a force in the on for years to come. With ESPN now on board, the road to the playoffs looks even more exciting for Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever. The question is no longer whether Clark can lead this team to victory, it's how far they can go with her at the helm. And with the record she's already broken, it's safe to say that the best is yet the best yet to come. With Caitlin Clark leading the charge, the Indiana Fever are no longer underdogs, they're contenders. Clark's record-breaking performances against the Los Angeles Sparks are just the beginning. As the Fever prepare for the postseason, there's no doubt that Caitlin's name will continue to dominate headlines. She's proven herself time and time again, and now the world is watching. And while ESPN may have flipped their stance, one thing remains clear Caitlin Clark is not only changing the game, she's rewriting history. The playoffs are next for Caitlin Clark, and if this season has shown us anything, it's that the best is yet to come.